Hey y'all, I hope you watched my last video. If you didn't, you might be a little bit confused. One thing I like to think about is God is just a person like us. And the reason I think of it like that is we're around humans all the time. When you have a strong enough faith to remember that He is there all the time, your faith can grow so much more and you can go into such a deeper relationship with Him because we're trusting that He is there even though we can't see Him. We seem to forget that He's around when we start going through bumpy roads and bumpy times and things just start falling apart really slowly or quickly. And that's when we really have to come and rest in His grace and in His presence. He is our backbone and yes, it is hard to lean on Him sometimes because we can't always hear Him or we're not allowing ourselves to hear Him or we we don't know what to say, we don't know what to pray, and so we do make it hard on ourselves sometimes when it really comes time to winding down and just focusing on what we really need to focus on. But the really cool thing about going through hardships, especially when you have God on your side, is He teaches us how to get through them. He teaches us not to give into our temptations or give into that depression or give into that that dark place that you used to go. And I really learned this when I went through a really bad breakup. And I've kind of gone into this with you guys before, but I left for college nine days after I graduated. I was going through a breakup. I was leaving all of my friends, what little friends I had left. I was leaving them nine days earlier, or not nine days earlier, I was leaving them three months earlier than everybody else was having to. I was having to leave a life behind that I thought I knew. I like cut ties completely with this guy, and then I found out that my dad was really sick. I was at church camp. I had graduation the next day I went to church camp and then a week later I went to college and he he had a scan I think or he had something he had some type of treatment or scan or a doctor's appointment or something while I was at school or not school while I was at church camp and it came back clean and all that. It was the beginning of October. My dad called me. He said, you know, Lauren, the scans aren't clean and I'm gonna have to have treatment and uh you know i'm gonna be okay it's it's not you know it's not that serious i'll be fine um we already have everything set up and so i was my parents don't really tell me a lot uh when i'm at school mainly because i am already terrible at school i hate studying i hate focusing so i i really got into actually reading my Bible. I learned to trust instead of being angry. It was so easy for me to get angry. I mean, I'm just like, I have a very short temper and it was very hard for me to understand. I was one of those people that was like, why? My first semester of freshman year, like anything bad that could possibly happen to somebody within like a three month period happened to me. And that's, I'm, I'm so thankful all of that happened because I would not be where I am today if none of that happened. I learned how to control my anger. I learned how to channel it. I learned what it's really like to, to be nothing and to have nothing, to have no strength, no hope, to literally just be a human to God. One thing I will say is when we're over here and God's over here, we grasp onto other things. Just like any anything else besides God, when we're on the other spectrum, and we're not focusing our eyes on him and knowing, not not realizing that he's there in that moment. That's when we, that's when we lose that grasp and that connection with him. Don't let the world get you off track because the devil is after you. He's after us all the time, but he really comes after us when we're in those bad situations, uh, that weak state of mind, knowing and not understanding, especially like. I feel like the second you say why, or you say why God, or the second you start to question anything, he comes full force, he sends everything he has to come and attack you. And that's why grasping onto God rather than anything else is so important. So I, of course, I don't have time to read verses. I never, ever, ever have time. But I'll link them down below. It's Matthew 11, 28 through 29, 1 Timothy 2, 8, Romans 8, 6, Romans 8.28 and Psalms 42.11. <coughs> Look at my little puppies. Aren't they cute? Um, if you guys don't mind me going over five minutes, I know it's really hard for me to even get it down to five minutes, but if you don't mind me going over because I will read the verses for y'all, let me know because I don't mind doing it. I just, 
since it is hashtag faith in five. I want to keep it in five minutes, but it normally goes to six. Maybe I should change it to hashtag faith in six. I don't know.